This morning, a comeback story in the making. Yeah, last year, things were not looking very good for, for puffins, but the Atlantic puffin you see right here appears to be making a triumphant return. That's great news. NBC's Carrie Sanders visited one of the five islands off the coast of Maine where you'll find puffin colonies, and he joins us now from Sandy Point State Park in Maryland with the details. This is good news, Carrie. It is. Good morning, guys. Look, we're here. This is a popular place for bird watchers to come to see the coastal birds. But indeed, this is a story about Mother Nature overcoming changes to the climate. So we're talking about the puffin, that iconic bird, which, you know, is on hats, makes for little popular toys, and of course is even sold on shirts. But in real life, they've been having a little bit of a struggle, especially last year. But this year, they appear to be making a comeback, in part because of some protected islands off the coast of Maine, where they are thriving. The Atlantic puffin, one of nature's rare and beloved species. And to get this close up to these remarkable seabirds in the state of Maine, first requires an adventure. Our journey begins with Don Lyon, it's isolated. who runs Audubon's Puffin Project. It's a bumpy eight miles east into the Gulf of Maine to eastern Egg Rock Island, the southernmost puffin nesting ground. Push off, here we go. So I can smell that this is Bird Island. Once on the island, we're greeted with nature's chaos. So this is incredibly active here. What are we seeing? We have common terns and arctic terns. Terns and other seabirds share the island with the nesting puffins that we've come to see. We're seeing adult puffins. Adult puffins. It's hard to look away. I don't know whether it's just me. I look at a puffin and I kind of want to giggle. I mean, it looks like it's a, a toucan and maybe a penguin. It is not just you. Almost everyone finds puffins adorable, really intriguing, fascinating. Even me, I'm a data-driven scientist, but I love looking at puffins. Three months in, four research biologists have camped here with a laser focus on the puffins that are now prospering. OK, if I join you. From the blinds where biologists observe feeding patterns, a slight shift this year over last year. It was a big worry. A prolonged heat wave here had warmed the ocean. So when adult puffins fed their chicks, they hunted fish not usually found in these cold northern waters, the butterfish. So when puffins bring back butterfish, the chicks can't swallow that down very easily. Because? Because they're so big and they're so round. <laughs> Adult puffins this year are finding the food chicks prefer, which are thin-bodied herring. But they're farther from shore, and when nearby, they're deeper, where the water is colder, as much as 50 feet down. They fly underwater. They use their wings to propel themselves both in the air when they're flying and when they're swimming underwater. And they're chasing the fish? They chase down fish and grab them with that impressive bill. And the burrows go quite far back. This year, some good news. The chicks, which have Hatch and burrow deep between the rocks appear to be on the rebound. What do we have here? This is actually a baby puffling. Uh, puffling? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Their term for a baby puffin. Can I touch? Yeah. Oh, so soft. This hatchling, about 10 days old. It's actually really promising. You're hopeful. I, I am. Hopeful, despite climate change, say researchers, because protected island habitats like this give puffins the opportunity to thrive. With their black and white penguin-like bodies and their colorful parrot-like beaks, the puffins are living up to their nickname, the clowns of the sea. Biologists estimate there's about 2,600 Atlantic puffins on those five islands off the coast of Maine. Uh, and so that is why Maine has them listed as a threatened species. But the good news again here is they appear to be making a comeback. And I think collectively we can all say, Aww. Yeah. Aww. I like I like the clowns of the sea. That's <laughs> super right. cute. That all great. right. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.